carbon pricing isn't a new idea. Over 40 countries have carbon pricing mechanisms, and so do four of Canada's provinces. Ontario and Alberta's programs roll out in 2017, while BC and Quebec's are in full swing. Ontario and Quebec have opted for a joint cap and trade system. That means there's only so many emissions to go around. Companies can buy and sell their carbon allowance, meaning the rate is set by the market. But that market needs to be established, making cap and trade time consuming to implement. Alberta and BC have chosen a different model, a straight carbon tax. It's easier to put in place than cap and trade, but critics say it's not as effective. That's because it prices carbon emissions at a flat rate per tonne. If the rate isn't high enough, the incentive to keep emissions down, well, it isn't there. So lots of details and lots of politics. 11 of 13 provinces and territories seemingly on the same page, including now British Columbia. Joining me now, Premier of BC, Christy Clark. So, Premier Clark, everybody was expecting Saskatchewan Premier Brad Wall to not be on side with this deal. A lot of people taken back by your, you came in sort of rooting for a fight here. Was that your plan all along? Well, we were fighting for fairness from the very beginning. I mean, it's, it's a position that I have held from the, from, for months now, saying, look, we have to make sure that the systems, when we've got different systems across the country, some cap and trade, some carbon tax, that they are equal. Because we can't have Canadians in Western Canada, where most of the resources and energy are produced, paying double for carbon tax what they're paying for carbon pricing in central Canada. And, you know, I fought for that. Um, we got it uh, in British Columbia's uh, part of the agreement, and we want, you know, that's what I said I was going to do at the very beginning. But we wanted a deal, Wendy. That was probably the most important thing for us. I've always said we want to get a deal and we want the rest of the country to catch up to BC's leadership on this one. At some point, there were three provinces that hadn't signed, three Western provinces, all but Rachel Notley, who was kind of left out in the cold there. Did you, at, at that point, Justin Trudeau must have thought, oh my goodness, I don't have the deal that I wanted here. Did, did you like see fear in his eyes? I saw flexibility, and I appreciate that from the federal government, that they that they understood, you know, for us, I mean, I think, um, as you said off the top, most people ex expected that British Columbia was kind of a gimme, because we have been advocating for a, car a carbon price across the country for so long, but I was really clear, it has to be fair, it has to be fair for British Columbians, or we wouldn't sign on, we know we have a lot of experience with carbon tax, we know it's complicated, and so I think, you know, I think the federal government wanted to make sure that, you know, as the country's leader on these things, we were in. And I'm grateful that, you know, he found and they found the flexibility to make sure that we could be at the table with this thing. At some point, it sounded like it was getting fairly nasty. We were hearing sort of unnamed federal sources saying, oh, yeah, no, BC positions themselves as a leader in climate change. Harumph. What did you think of that? I didn't. I didn't hear that. I don't know. I mean, that you know, we're we're the only province in Canada that gets awards from the World Bank and the United Nations, um, you know, for the leadership that we've shown on climate change. And the reason we've been successful is because after collecting almost nine billion dollars in carbon taxes um, since in the eight years we've had the the system in place, we have returned every penny of that in tax cuts. So we now have one of the t most tax uh, competitive economies in the country, in North America, and we have the fastest growing economy. So, you know, if you want to make carbon taxes work, make sure that you take every penny in tax, give it back to the people of your province in terms of tax cuts, and your economy will grow. So it seems you won some concessions. There's still two other premiers who are not fully signed on, uh, or at all. Do you think that the Prime Minister can win them over? You know, I don't know. I mean, I, when I look across the country, I look at Saskatchewan, Manitoba, they've also got a real commitment to fighting climate change. They want to do it differently, though. And so just as we said, look, we are going to have a made in BC uh, carbon pricing system. And when we get to 2020, we're going to make sure it's fair across the country. And then we're going to decide whether or not our carbon tax goes up or whether or not we decide we'll find some other way. Saskatchewan and Manitoba, I think, are going to argue that they really just want to make sure that it's a made in uh, their own province 
kind of carbon pricing, whether it's carbon capture and storage. So I think we've got to be flexible in Canada. That's what's made Canada work all these years. Well, it was quite the day. Premier, thank you so much for, uh, for speaking to us tonight. Thank you, Wendy.